So we've come a long way with our guest book so far, and what I want to uh, show in these next few clips probably it'll take is about how to use custom module setting. Um, and this is just a convenient kind of key value pair uh, storage that's built into Mojo Portal. And you can take advantage of it in your feature if you want to. So let's think of a couple things we might want to have settings for. And one would be whether to use the CAPTCHA. You know, right now I'm logged in, so we already configured it to not use the CAPTCHA if we're authenticated. But we could make it an optional setting to enable it. You might get away with it for a little while having a guest book without the CAPTCHA, but if you if you leave it disabled for a long time, I'm, I'm sure you will eventually start getting spam bot. Then the other thing I want to show in a later clip will be paging. So we'll go ahead and create a, a setting for page size, and then we'll also add a setting that will be a custom CSS class so that you could style different instances of the guest book different. Now, you know, the guest book is not really probably the best application I could have chosen for demonstrating all these different things because you probably would only have one guest book on a site and you wouldn't style, you wouldn't have more than one and style them differently, but I'm going beyond things that are typically what would be in a guest book because I just want to show you how to do this in other features that you develop yourself. And then, so finally, the other module setting I'm wanting to show you is how you could store a permission so that you could have a roles that can do this or roles that can do that. You know, we've got page level stuff for edit and view permissions, but suppose you wanted to have some specific permission within your feature and you wanted to control that separately from the overall edit and view permission. I will show you how you can use uh, module settings and a built-in control we have for capturing allowed roles that will show up in settings. Now, of course, settings is what shows up here. This is the module settings page. And you can see we don't have any specific settings for our guest book so far, but all modules have some settings and you know some security permissions built in. But when we add custom module settings, they will all show up here. Now, I use the term module and feature interchangeably here. We're talking about feature instance settings. So the first thing we need to do is go to our feature definition file, which we have in our setup folder here. And we don't have any settings defined there. All we really have is defining the resource file and the feature name and the feature good and the control. So it can be helpful to look at other other built-in features to see how to define feature settings. So we'll go into the uh, features project and then we'll branch down here and let's say we'll look at the early Google map one. Um, or actually there's one that, that one that I talked about for a custom CSS class. I know we've got that I think on the contact form. So let's take a look at that. Do I have it? Yeah, here's one. So we can basically just grab this one, copy it, and paste it into our guestbook one. Now, of course, uh, we're going to use our own resource file, so we've got to do that. And there's already a help defined that's for this particular thing that's going to be the same for all features. So we might as well just leave that as it is. And we've got a regular expression to validate what they can put in there. And let's see. Now, we want one for page size. I think we might have had a setting also for page size here in the contact form of the messages. So I'll just scrape that one and paste that in here. And again, we're going to use our own resource file. And we'll just call this page size setting. And maybe we'll make that seven or so. Uh, let's see. Make the sort order 200. This is just a regular expression that says, you know, it can be digits up to two digits for the size. So anywhere from 0 to 99. And then we also said we wanted to have one for choosing whether to use the CAPTCHA. We just need one of checkbox type. So we'll copy one of those. And actually this this one already has a contact form. Use spam blockers, what we call it there. But we'll just grab that one instead. And we'll just simplify that to use capture. And 
make it default to true. And then one more I said I wanted to do is going to be a role permission. Now, we have a control that can be used for that, and it implements iSetting control. iSetting control is a simple interface. Um, I'll show you that here in a few minutes, but we'll go ahead and grab an example of the iSetting control from here. And we'll paste it in here. And again, we want we want to use our guestbook resources on all of these. And rules that can do food. I don't really even know if something special I'm going to put here for, I, I'm really just doing this for illustrative purposes. I, I can hardly think of uh, a special permission that we would have separate from the edit for this guestbook thing. Default value is just going to be an empty string. And this is going to map to controls, and this is coming from MojoPortal.web. We've got a control called Allowed Role Set. So I'm going to change that to Allowed Role Set. So we've defined them. Uh, we should quickly go ahead and put labels in our resource file. Had one open there. Let me close some of these extra things. And let's see what else do we have? Page size. A lot of people don't know what CAPTCHA means, so we might want a more friendly use spam blocker. There's our label on that. People know what spam is. Rules that can do for you. Again, I'm just making this thing up uh, so I can show you how to do it in your own scenario where you may, you may need to have some special permission to do food, to do something. <laughs> okay, so we're getting to the end of this clip. What I'm going to do now is build. And then after building, we go back to our browser and we need to run the setup page. Okay, and that ran and when it's doing its configuring feature, that's when it's configuring the module settings, feature instance settings, with its default values and make it possible. Now we go back in here, and we go to Guestbook, we go to Settings, and we can see our settings are in here. We're not using them yet in our feature, but we'll pick that up in the next clip as we're running out of time on this one.